Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tessa. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more planner videos. I have a lot of fun unboxings, planner flip throughs, and all sorts of stuff coming. Um, today I'm doing a flip through of my newest planner setup. I've got my A6 rings set up for fall and I thought I would do a planner flip through. Um, I've got the, I'm doing the lighting a little bit different today. I've got the lights dimmed quite a bit and I've got these little fairy lights uh, out for the occasion. I thought this would be fun since it feels kind of cozy and it's tis the season or whatever. <laughs> so let me know if this lighting looks okay to you, if you like this or how you prefer this in comparison to my other videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the flip through now. This is my uh, Vanderspeck. Absolutely love this planner. I feel like I almost don't wanna use any other planner because I love this planner so much. So this is how it looks when you open it up. And um, I went with like a soft golden, there's golden rose gold through this. And there's pinks and browns, a little bit of peach or orange. Um, it's kind of like a fall, fall but girly, I guess. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of different things in this planner and I'll talk through all of the items that I've got going on in here. So on the sides, I have two decorative pens. Both of these are gel pens. The one on the left is from Simply Gilded and it just has these um, like rose gold bows. And then the one on the right is from Villa Beautiful and it is like a very soft pink with rose gold hardware and um, pretty pink and iridescent crystals inside. Then on this left hand pocket, this pen or pin is from Planners Anonymous. It's from their, um, they had like a coffee themed kit last year and this is from that, but I can't remember the, the exact name of it. It might've been like Barista something. I think it was Barista Brunch. I think that's what it was called. Um, then I've got, um, I have these two little die cuts kind of peeking through on the bottom here. This one is, as you can see, it's this illustration. It's just the pumpkin sort of peeking up. And then this one is, um, I can't even remember where I got this. It's a book unfolding and it has like a rose gold foil. So I thought that would be fun to include. And then I have this little quote card. It says, she smiled and the moon smiled back. And that's from Lizzie Plans. It's a three by three. And I've got it clipped onto this, this page marker. The page marker is, um, that's what it looks like. But I didn't really like the bow on top. <laughs> this is going to seem extremely silly. But if you're a planner girl, I just know you'll relate to this. I thought that the leopard spots, they had this sort of like russet red color on them that I just felt was a little bit too bright, too sharp for the look that I was going for in this setup. And so I decided to cover it by, um, by using this little rose gold teardrop clip. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I had an allergy attack yesterday because um, I was trying out a new face product. I was trying a, um, it's like a cream, but it's a chemical exfoliator and I put it on my face and I accidentally got some inside my nostrils and it caused me to have an allergy attack. <laughs> I had to take Benadryl and um, I feel totally better today. I've not had any allergies, but my throat is just a little bit scratchy from like all of the allergies I had yesterday. So if you hear me, sipping on some water and stuff in the background, that's why. In these pockets, I have two things. First, I have this little, um, this was a journaling card from Simply Gilded last year. 
I thought it would be really cute and it could be used as like a um a page marker or if I need like a hard surface to write on I can put it in there but mostly it's just for decoration and then I also have this little sticker folder this is from an old happy scrappy kit and I do have some stickers in here the stickers on the left are from planners anonymous um from a really old planners anonymous box that I got at a planner event early this year um, I love this sticker sheet. I think it's really cute. And then these two are okay, but they have a lot of green in it for me. It's not my favorite. And then I feel like most of the quotes on these Planner Society sticker sheets are so annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Does anyone else feel that way? They feel so tacky to me. Like, okay, um, YOLO. Come on. <laughs> oh, I don't like some of these. Hashtag girl boss. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Planner girls are the prettiest girls. I don't know. Ones that I do like are, um, I've got this is pretty nice. Um, make today count. Um, keep going or remember this those are nice but a lot of these seem so tacky <laughs> I just I just wanted to point that out like does anyone else feel that way do you ever feel like certain quotes on planner items you just don't relate to necessarily I think we all feel that way sometimes um and then the ones on the right, these are all from Happy Scrappy. Um, I'll just flip through them super quick. These are all of the um, stickers from her really, really old sub box last year. Does anyone else miss Happy Scrappy? Because I do. I definitely miss getting Happy Mail from her every month. And getting excited for the themes and everything else. Okay. So. That is basically the front part of the planner. And then we have a journaling card. This is from Hello Petite Paper. Most of the papers and journaling cards used throughout this setup are from Hello Petite Paper and Happy Scrappy. Um, this would have been really awesome if I had like some rose gold Krauss rings, but I just didn't have time to try to find some or to purchase any. And plus, I've never changed Krauss rings and it's a little intimidating. So maybe next time. For now, the silver rings will do. Okay, so um, these papers are from Hello Petite Paper. And then I have this um, little note this is like an inbox of things I need to do from cloth and paper. This is from Happy Scrappy. And then more Hello Petite paper. I have my lunar calendar in here from Jacenia Printables still. I hope she does one for 2021 because I really want one for my 2021 planner. My tabs are from, I have these little tabs on the side. They're from Avery. What I do is I get these Avery tabs and I cut them in half because they're really long. And then I use my corner rounder to round the corner. And then I use like clear overlay stickers. These ones happen to be from Happy Scrappy, I do believe. And that's how I make my tabs. Here's my goals section. I recently took out my old goals because my goals have changed and I need to reevaluate my goals. These inserts are from Simple and Trendy Co. on Etsy. This is a gold Ollie clip. This journaling card is from Hello Petite Paper. On the back, I've got this little card that says failure is success in progress 
and it is from the Planner Society. This um, paper is from Happy Scrappy. And then I've got my daily plans section. This I don't use very often. It's mostly for emergencies because most of my daily planning I now do in a mini happy planner and I'll do a flip through of that soon. But I really love to have this on hand just in case I'm going somewhere and I only take one planner with me. I've got a place where I can get all of my daily to do's jotted down. These inserts are also from Simple and Trendy Co. on Etsy. This paper is from Happy Scrappy. And then I've got this sticky note here. These are so handy. I love these little things. This is a really small sticky notes. These are from Jet Pens. And they have like marble and wood pattern. And they're really nice and they're very affordable. So I just put one on the on this um, dashboard and then I put this little sticker uh, die cut from Hello Petite paper on it as well just to make like a cute little dashboard. This is also from Hello Petite paper. And then this is my weekly planner section and I always plan my week. I love planning my week in my ASICs. This little um, bow I don't remember where it's from if I had to guess I think it might be from uh, Berry Sweet Plans but I'm not 100% sure um, in case you haven't seen my other ASICs rings flip throughs this is sort of here's some of my past weeks uh, weekly planning in this planner Just to sort of give you an idea of how I use these inserts. I know that always helps me to see people how see how other people use their inserts. This is this week. It's not 100% filled out yet. And then I just have extra weeks uh, print and cut and ready to go. This beautiful paper is from Hello Petite Paper. It's so pretty. Honestly, her shop is amazing. You have to check her out. All of her illustrations are, she does them herself and then she hand cuts and hand foils everything. Um, it's so pretty. And uh, she's got like some fall, fall and winter stuff. So if you are looking for something really elegant to add to your planner, check out her shop. This little die cut is also from Hello Petite Paper. This acetate is so pretty. I love this. This is from the planner, the Planners Anonymous Barista Brunch Kit that they did last year. And I just layered it with this like watercolor paper that they had in that planner kit too. And I thought it looked really nice. It's really cute. It's like this menu. On the back of that, I don't super care for the back of it, but that's okay. It's just coffee and daisies. Then we have the monthly section. Um, these are my monthlies. I took out the previous monthlies that I had in here because it was bulking up my planner a little bit too much. I use these to check, uh, track exercise and finances. I love this dashboard. This might be like my favorite dashboard in this setup. I think it's so cute. This paper is from Happy Scrappy, and then I've got this cloth and paper sticky note, um, and on top of it I have this little die cut, and I can't remember where this die cut is from, but she's really cute sitting on the um, this little sticky note. And then I have another uh, piece of that acetate with that watercolor paper. I kind of do like this paper when it's um, flipped to this section because the brown I think looks kind of nice. This coffee bean and coffee cup die cut as well as this um, quote card are from the Barista Brunch Planners Anonymous kit. That was a really good kit guys. It was awesome. 
And then this paper is Hello Petite paper. This last section is just like a list section. There's some lists that I need to make, but I haven't gotten around to making yet. And then I have this as a page lifter. This is one of those old Foxy Fix, um, like PVC, uh, pockets or whatever. I've got a few things in here. I've got this quote quote card from the Planner Society that says mindset is what separates the best from the rest. And then I have a little die cut from Happy Scrappy as well as a die cut from Hello Petite Paper. That's the end of the planner and then I did decorate the back pocket a little bit. It's kind of simple. This first um card that I have in here is actually a business card from Hello Petite Paper. So there's her website. Definitely check out her shop. And then I just have this little quote card. This seems kind of silly because you can't even see what the quote says. But when the planner, when you're not at the back of the planner and you're just looking at the items on the side here, it doesn't really matter. It just gives it a little something. It says, work hard, brunt harder. Then I have this little um, sweater die cut. I made this myself. I illustrated this a long time ago, this time last year. Then I just have this little um, kind of like a, uh, it's a washi card, I guess. This is from the Planner Society. I really like this one. And then I have this other little quote card in here. This is from Lizzie Plans. It just says, Manifest Magic. And then the last um, little card that I have in here, it says, Coffee Believes in You. And basically that is pretty much it. I think this one was down here. Yeah, there we go, that looks better. That's how I did the pockets. Pretty simple. I know some people have those really nice fancy like cards that have their contact information and their medical history and their goals and their night routine and their skincare, but I have not gotten that far yet. I suppose I'm not that fancy yet. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this planner flip through. Um, if you'd like to, please subscribe. I really appreciate everybody who subscribes to my YouTube. I will have more planner flip throughs coming soon. Um, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I'm at Tess Likes to Plan and I post a lot of my planner spreads and fun stuff there too. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.